What's up guys? We are headed over to the Bahamas and I'm going out with some of my favorite people to fish with, the boys from Southern Fortune Fishing Tournaments. We've got Chris with us. Woo! We've yeah. got Matt yeah. with us. Captain Joe at the helm. What's going on? Daryl's right there. And in the back, Trevor. What's, What's up, up, dude? Check out this slow pitch jigging in the Bahamas. <laughs> Stick around, guys. This is going to be awesome. We're just a few guys that decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of Pompano Beach, Florida. We want to fill you in on what we have learned along the way. So we're headed to one of the most northern islands in the Bahamian chain of islands called Grand K. It is a destination fishing spot. You'll see a lot of articles and magazines. You'll see a lot of um, shows that have been filmed in this area because the fishery is amazing. There's yellowfin, tuna, wahoo, deep dropping for queen snapper, yellow eye snapper. You can move in closer, get into some grouper and mutton snapper as well and we left out of Jensen Beach this morning and we're very fortunate to actually have this fishery um, available to us, you know, leaving from our backyard and just crossing over. It's about an 80 mile run and today we're gonna probably get into just about everything we possibly can from deep dropping to going in shallow and trolling for Wahoo. Just a quick little bit of paperwork, you know, standard custom stuff, check in, get your permit and then we hit the water and we're out fishing. So we're in 990 feet, you guys. And uh, I'm told that the current is pretty nil here. Like there's not much at all, but I am gonna put down a 600 gram jig to start out with and just test it out and see how vertical I stay. And if I could scope down from there, obviously I'm gonna go to a 400 or a 500, whichever one that I can get away with. But ideally, I'll get away with the lightest jig that I possibly can. But I am using my Maxell Rage 90. Um, I'm using the uh, extra, extra heavy Daiwa Saltiga rod that was given to us by Daiwa. And I'm dropping down a torpedo jig. This is our blue and pink, newest one at 600 grams. And it seems like we're marking some queen snappers right here. Let's see if we can catch some fish. I got the camera going. I'm about to see and capture this That's video. That's it, guys. So, first drop. Johnny Jig, first drop. Johnny what Jig, dreams are made drop. of, boy. This is what dreams are made of. First drop. <laughs> first drop of the Johnny Jigs. Look at that sun setting rise in the background. What a nice day here on the bottom. I'm going to back off my drag just a little bit because I got this guy off the bottom. So that was my first drop, guys. It took it took a bit to get down, and uh, Your first first drop. We're pretty vertical with the 600 gram, but it still took a second to get down. We're in a 990 feet, but these boys are. We've got two jigs down. We got a couple electric reels down. Oh, I got his like that. And it's a long way up. <laughs> reeling up a fish is easy. What I don't like doing is just reeling up a jig. Yeah, right. But I definitely got to keep a little finesse game on this fish. I don't want to pull a hook. Not, not a big fish by any means. He didn't uh, pull drag, but it's definitely a fish, which gives us hope that there are fish down there. Mm -hmm. I 
definitely want to see what he looks like though. This is just incredible. I mean, first drop in the Bahamas, you know, running over and it makes it all worthwhile, man. Yeah, it's kind of dead, but I'm right on top. I mean, I'm on. I've never caught a Mystic Grouper. No? No. Chris Doyle got one uh, a couple years ago out there but if this is a mystic grouper i'm done i'm gonna to go you sit down and relax <laughs> you ain't done you gotta catch it clean. you gotta catch a couple you that muffin. <laughs> we got color boys oh boys guess what we got, That's what what we, got? About. we got some oh, queen snapper geez. gentlemen here we go hell yeah nice hey, hey. what's that g What's that jig? That's what I'm talking about. That's Dinner for awesome. the meat box. Oh, oh yeah. Clean there, Johnny. Oh, right over this way. Oh, oh he's barely. Okay. Look at that, guys. He's barely hooked right through the nose. And that's why you, you back off the drag and really just try to, to finesse this fish. But take a look, guys. This is a queen, a Bahamian queen snapper. Um, it's definitely a highly sought after fish. And what's really cool is, and something that stands out is the tail, this big V tail on this fish, as well as the big eyes because they live down deep. So, hey, first one for the ice box, guys. Let's get another one. No way. Oh, why didn't I drop? That's a mystic. No. What do you got? A yellow eye and a snowy. Yellow eye and a snowy. Oh my god. Yeah. And they told me not to drop oh on this one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm the bad guy now. <laughs> Just no, the no bad wait, guy. No wait, no wait. Yeah! Oh the Southern Fortune Fishing Tournament is a year-round tournament and it's based on species and weight. You can win thousands of dollars just by uploading the fish that you catch and entering it into the contest. Go down to the link below and check it out. Hooked up, baby. Same drift, guys, different fish. This fish hit me on the fall and I had to reel really fast to catch up to him down there. And definitely feels a bit heavier than the last fish that I caught, but our, our speed over ground is like 0.5, so we're we're barely moving. I'm staying very vertical with this 600 gram jig down there. Not to mention that I'm using a Berkley X9, a 20 pound test, so it's like a PE2, so that helps you cut through the water as well and stay vertical. But this guy definitely feels much bigger than I wouldn't say much bigger, but bigger than the last one. And I back down off my drag a bit just so I can not pull the hook on them. And we've got, ooh, there goes some more uh, more thumping, which is a couple fish that'll do that. So the queen snappers will fight you all the way up and you'll, you'll definitely feel uh, tail thumping on the way up. But also um, Matt just caught a black fin tuna down there. So the black fin tunas, will fight you, but they have a little bit more of a vibration than this. So if I had to guess, but I'm not guessing, but if I had to guess, I would say that it's a queen snapper. But I can tell you that every time I guess, I guess it wrong. So let's see if I'm right today. No, I'm under the boat. Oh, somebody's pulling me over there. Oh, slack up, slack up, slack up. That is you. I got you here, flat. Okay, I'm gonna come around the bow. You got my weight though. Up in, uh, yeah, it's nice. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, let's up. just come up with it. Yeah, let's come up with it. Oh, there oh. We go. oh, oh, queen snapper. <laughs> What's in him? It's just one jig. <laughs> go ahead and wrap it real quick, Chris. Here we go. There we go. So he's he's got a nice hook set on him. It's pretty. It's a pretty uh, hefty hook set here. So that's another queen snapper. The second one, second drop. Hold that oh, there for a second. Couldn't be happier with that. Uh, look, the cook 
got me gone out this liquor. I'm drinking Patron like it came in the picture. My stomach is tight like I did this some sit -ups. You know that I'm drunk. Go. Like the way that I hit yeah. it. Let me show you guys real quick just the lures that we were using. So this is a Yozuri Bonita. And you can see it's got two hooks on it. Uh, one right at the middle and one right there at the back. But this, this bait will actually dive down by itself. But we did have an inline sinker with it as well to put it down. And this thing was getting crushed. You can see the teeth mark on it right there. And then the second lure, using, it's just a dart head basically. And it's got two hooks on it. One right there on the rear and then one a little bit forward up. But it's just a dart head that sinks down. And then this also had uh, inline weight on it as well as like, I wanna say about 50, uh, 50 feet of shock cord on it. So these guys were just getting hammered today by the Wahoo. We got four Wahoo in the ice box and we've decided that that's enough Wahoo for today. We're not gonna chase this bite um, any longer to see if they continue biting. We're gonna go ahead and move over to some deep drop and see if we can't get tight there. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All day with Johnny J. My God. What's that noise back there? Is there Darth Vader in the bottom of this boat or what? Yeah. <laughs> what is, what that? is that? <laughs> yeah, he's My he's God. Oh, oh, that's a good fish. Oh, no, he came on glue. <laughs> no. We got to see that. Oh. Why is this the only pole not getting bit? Put it right back why in the Why is this the only fucking pole that's not getting bit? Right. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We tight. Video, he's on it. He's got his. Oh, mine, so, mine up. baby. Mine up top. Mine Little up top. guy? No, he's not. Fish. That's a good fish. Maybe you guys ain't got no bait. I don't think you guys got raw. Oh, look, know. he's got the electric. He's still here. Yeah, I know. You oh. wait till you get him up. He's a little bigger. Nice. Than the queens I got earlier. Ooh. Dude, you should have just seen him getting down right now. I mean, like, that <laughs> shit was awesome. <laughs> I love watching that. It's dead. That one's dead. That one's all of our shit's dead except this one's all So we just moved head. into the deep drop spot, guys. And uh, recorded? our drift is so slow right, you're on record now. that I switched yeah. over to the um, 400 gram watermelon torpedo. And Joe, our captain, is telling us that the screen is absolutely lit up. And he was right because we've got Chris hooked up and you hooked Brady's up, Matt? Hooked up. Oh, Grady's hooked Grady hooked up. is we hooked got, up. We got so, baited. We all got bites. So where everybody's hooked up. Oh my. Queen. 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 Yeah. We've got queen snappers coming up on the other side there. there 48 feet, guys. Oh, we're All right, we're live, Johnny J. Should see some color here. You're live. All right, we got a floater. We got a floater out there. Oh, we do. That's a grouper, huh? Is that a grouper? It's gotta be. It's not a little one. Oh grouper. yeah. It's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was on your fucking right? fucking jiggy. That, that is a fish. Yeah, I have not caught uh, before. It's a mystic. Yeah, yeah, a mystic. yeah it's a mystic. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's what he was here for. Hell, That's yeah. what he wanted. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. They called it. They called it. They said there was a mystic yeah. on this rock. Yeah, I'm good at good, bro. <laughs> hey. Hell yeah, brother. You called it. You called it. Woo. Get back on that. That is a mystic grouper. 
and this is not a common fish for us to catch. We don't catch them out of Pompano Beach at all. So for me, it's a prize fish because it's one that I haven't caught before. Um, it's a bucket list one to, to check off. And aside from that, he's a decent size. So pretty, you can see his eyes are popped out right there. That's just from the pressure. Whenever you um, reel them up you know, so, through so many fathoms, they uh, get a lot of pressure inside of them. But take a look inside this guy's mouth he's just got some chompers you know and all the teeth are, are pointed inward so as soon as he sucks that uh, fish in you know he, he they're not getting out because of the way those are angled right there so such a cool fish I don't know if you guys can see the uh, the stripes on him going up and down but this is this just made my trip totally made my trip I am fired up about this fish and I uh, can't wait to get him home and share him with the family everybody's in right yeah. Coming up. Dude, it is so heavy. Oh, you gotta go. Oh, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Oh, oh no. God, yeah. You bought him out? Did you make it to the knot? Oh, yeah. Oh. I see in mono. Like yeah, but no, but he didn't. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't break it. like that. He the broke. fish broke it. He, the fish broke it. Oh, okay. Just a tension. No, we didn't lose the fish. Like that. The no, 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 no. We made. We got all of them. No, no. Back. How close was he? Uh -uh. uh uh. Dude, yeah, uh uh is the word, dog. Bro, how do we do? <laughs> Let me see it. Right at the leader. Chased how, it. How long is yeah, the line? He chased. The leader yeah. was pretty Dude, good. Dude, you know he swallowed that thing. Don't How yeah. long was the leader? It was Way like longer. 15 <laughs> feet. No, <laughs> no but it was that long. Not long, but it was six foot. Yeah, it was. Well, how, did it, how did he bite it off? What the hell did that happen? They stood up. We reeled up for the day and headed towards Grand K. This island has a population of around 300 people. Mode of transportation is either boat or golf cart. As the sun fell, what was once our fishing machine turned into a relaxed party and feast on the day's catch. This day was filled with good vibes and good people. It just continued into the night. But at some point, we had to wind it down because we had a whole nother day of fishing Bahamian waters ahead of us. All right, guys, we're on day two of our Bahamas trip. Last night, we pulled into Grand K. Um, we had a nice place to stay, um, two bedrooms, had a kitchen. Um, all of us were able to have a hot shower. We had a barbecue here on the boat, fired up the grill, put some fish on the grill, um, got some cracked conch, um, met up with our connection here in Grand K, which is uh, Gary, and uh, Gary was able, Gary brought us over some cracked conch. Um, you know, kind of took care of us. He's like essentially our ambassador of the island. So we just made a quick stop this morning to fuel up. We're gonna hit some deep drop spots. We're gonna see if we can't do some trolling for Wahoo. So day two guys, I'll see you on the water. We just made about a 20 mile run. We're in about 700 feet of water. This spot is known to the fellas for uh, yellow eye snapper. Um, what else do we get in this area? Yellow eyes. Lots no, of yellow. We'll probably get grouper too. Probably some grouper as well, but mostly yellow eyes. So, Daryl's gonna drop down his electric here. He's got a chicken rig going with a heavy weight got a little, on it. Got a little smelly barracuda here. Some barracuda strips going on. Barracuda. Chris has got the same thing here. I think all these boys are going barracuda. Oh, right here. All right, have. what do we got? All right, squid, squid going All down. All natural, we're going for the yellow eye. So here's the deal. We got squid versus barracuda and jig. versus yes. jigs. Who's yeah. gonna win? Who's gonna win? We'll so let we'll, you know for sure. Yeah, this what do the yellow eye like to eat? I'm not laying that in. Oh, that's not typical. No. What's different about this? So usually everybody puts the rig, the hooks up the top and makes a chicken rig. I have a single hook with a two and a half, three foot leader with one hook. And then the weight up there. Oh, and the weight's, the weight's on the actually on the bottom. Okay. This is actually on the side. A little something different here. A little circle hooks. All right, let's see what happens. Here we have Chris. He's hooked up on the electric grill. <laughs> Got the barracuda out there. Got barracuda. Yeah. That was on the barracuda rig. That's on the single hook. 
Yes, sir. Um, oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Which way? It's Which way? around more than once. Yeah. It's okay, I can, I can go around you. Here. Keep pressure on that thing, Johnny. Well, I lost that one, but Trevor did pull up a really nice yellow eye snapper. So I'm gonna switch it up because it seems like a couple guys were pulling hooks here. So see what happens. just shy of a thousand feet of water and the wind has definitely uh, picked up today a bit so our drift is moving a little bit faster so I went a little heavier yeah, I'm, I'm over you I'm freed up you're freed up no I think you still got great Grouper. Johnny J! Dude! That's a stud right there, dude. Get, grab my phone, picture of that. You can definitely, so you can definitely feel the thump whenever a fish this size hits your jig down on the bottom. But I was doing long falls for a bit there. I wasn't getting any bites. Um, Joey was telling me that the screen was lit up, so we knew that there was fish on the bottom. So we started staying tight to the bottom, just short pitches. But look at this snowy grouper, guys. You can see this one still actually has the spots on it. A lot of times, whenever they get to this size here, they start losing their spots. But uh, this guy still got them, and he hit the uh, Katy Perry 600 gram um, torpedo jig. But this, this fish like these make the trip, boys. Woo! Hey, Woo!
me gone out this liquor. I'm drinking Patron like he came in the picture. My stomach is tight like I just did some sit-ups. You know that I'm drunk by the way that I hiccup them.